Hello, I'm with my good mate Andy Pope. Um, he's been primed for maybe three years, I think. We'll ask him in a minute. Anyway, this podcast, uh, this message is going to be called 10 Questions with Primed Chad, and we're going to be talking to Primed Andy. It's all about optimizing your environment, your lifestyle, your food, and your drinks so you can live longer, live better, be healthier, and happier. That's it. So, first one, it's not really a question, just Andy, tell us about yourself. Um, so my name's Andy, I've uh, come from the UK, I've been living in the Philippines for 25 years now. Uh, met Chad many years ago through various uh, restaurant and F&B channels. Um, and then we got together, uh, as Chad mentioned, about three years ago and Chad introduced me to uh, not eating bread and many other things and, and the journey began there. Cool, cool. Now Andy's a, a very, very good runner, um, can run a marathon in three hours or less or just a little bit more so he's very cool and how old are you Andy because 48 48 okay you look you look a lot younger <laughs> than that um, I'm 50 this year so between us we're uh, <laughs> we've got nearly a century there so Andy um why why did you go primed and what what was your major benefit do you think well actually initially it was kind of a little bit misled because uh, I was looking for a panacea for long distance running and thought that uh, low carb would be the magic the magic solution, which there, there is no magic solution to that one, but um, it was the start of learning an awful lot about what was going into my body and uh, realizing the bigger picture of health and fitness. And uh, actually, now I run less, but I'm healthier and thinner. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the initial motivation was actually very different to the uh, to the end result, but the end result has been great, or the ongoing result, I should say. Yeah, I mean, you, your skin looks amazing. <clears throat> um, and again, what what happens is, I was like Andy. I used to waste a lot of time running around in circles, biking, swimming. I should have been with my family. I should have been developing my major organ, which is my brain. But I was wasting a bit of time. So I think that's one of the benefits that Andy's alluded to, is that you don't have to do this excessive exercise to get healthy. It's nice to run because you're energized. And I'm sweating because I ran from Passive to the Wholesome Table at BGC because I have the energy. Yesterday I ran to Manila um, and I recovered easily. So. Um, what, what, were the, what were the major changes you, you made, do you think? So the first changes were <clears throat> stopping eating bread. Actually, that was sitting in the restaurant we're in now. Um, you said, don't eat that. And actually, I haven't eaten bread since. So I haven't eaten bread based on that one conversation for about three years. Um, and then over the next couple of weeks, giving up uh, rice, potatoes, all the big processed carbs um, and sugar. Um, still have some sugar, but, but, but minimalize it. Um, and then it was really a journey of learning about all sorts of other things like sort of sleep and grounding and light and everything else. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because primed is really 20% food. Food's important, but it's not the most important. Andy already said sleep trumps food because if you don't sleep, your food can't do its, um, do its work. So um, what's one of the, just about sleep, maybe some of the sleep practices that you do now. So sleep practices, one is to prioritize it. You actually have to think about it and set yourself a, a time, try and get to bed early. So you wake up early, um, do some good things during the day, do some form of activity or exercise so you're tired at night. Um, take a, I take a hot shower or warm shower before bed, um, spray some magnesium on. Um, but the three big ones for me that I learned are actually where you sleep should be cold, dark and quiet yeah. and if you get those three ingredients in you, you you stand a decent chance of a good night's sleep very very cool um, and how about um, family with with primed it's yes it's about you have to help yourself first before you can help other people um, how has it been with your with your family Andy as well especially for your, your, your children um, a work in progress yeah. <laughs> would be maybe a little bit over optimistic it's been hard um, getting a, my Filipino, lovely Filipino wife off, off rice is, is uh, not easy. Um, but the kids are making progress and, and what I, we take a no stress approach. Um, so if they want to eat stuff that's not on my menu, which they do quite regularly, then that's, that's fine. Um, but that said, they have just started a, a whiteboard at home where they now plan their week and plan their, their, their meals and stuff. Um, and they are, uh, conscious and, and very aware of, uh, of what is good and what's not so good so hopefully that will rub off over the years. Nice, nice and um, Andy's uh, food has just arrived, he's got a beautiful uh, chicken dukkah salad, we're at the wholesome table of course, it's our favourite restaurant. Um, what's some of your favourite food Andy and I know you have at Atlantis in Dumaguete and in Portugalera, 
Yeah, yep. you've got some great food. I've seen some of your fan fantastic dishes. What sort of food do you like? Because again, you're you're a hard charging athlete. You're a busy businessman. You've got a family. Um, what sort of some of your favourite foods? Well, actually, I'm a big salad fan. As as that bowl just just shows, I make big salads at home. Lots of green leaves, lots of eggs, uh, lots of sardines, small fish, anchovies, and stuff like that. Just mix it up with a ton of. Um, uh, apple cider vinegar and olive oil. Oh, but um, but aren't, aren't, aren't eggs, sorry to interrupt, aren't, aren't <laughs> eggs bad for you, Andy? It's well, gonna, your I, cholesterol. I, I eat at least three a day and feel great. <laughs> yeah, and um, just so you know as well, we've got actually got Andy's cholesterol results um, and they're in the elite category. So he's eating a lot of eggs, he's having seafood um, and no problem with the cholesterol. Um, now also one thing Andy, you and I, are, I've adopted your haircut. <laughs> why, why why have you got a short haircut? A lot of people are getting beards now and all this sort of stuff. What, what's your reason for well, your Well, my hair? wife makes me shave, so I have no choice. And my hair <laughs> is short because it's so fine that if it grows out, I have no control over what it does. So uh -huh. it's, but, and it's practical for running. Yeah, and then also the other reason, the reason I always cut my hair <laughs> short and shave, I want to maximize the sunlight. So um, we're white guys. Um, we're from Northern Ancestry. We actually don't need as much sunshine as a Filipino. So, and that's why I'm always sleeveless. We can actually maximize our energy from the sun by having shorter hair. Um, and that's why in the Philippines, I think people should be dressed tropically. Um, and just on that point is, the Filipinos are actually gonna be coming out to Andy's properties um, to help his staff. Why, why have you asked, why is Prime gonna go out there and help you guys? Um, I think it, they see me eating and, and behaving the way I do, but I think some of it Sometimes people sort of see it as a little bit sort of, well, you're their boss and everything, and uh, hearing things from the same people all the time doesn't always have the benefit as having somebody come in and actually coach and train. Um, and I'd very much like uh, my staff to uh, take advantage of some of the advice with regards to diet and health and, 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 and getting better sleep and so on. Yep. So on that point is, if any of Andy's staff have type 2 diabetes, hypertension, um, obesity, sleep apnea, gout, it's easy fixed, asthma, um, and just on that point, one of the um, Pulse and Table staff didn't change her food at all, all she did was get more sun, she reversed her asthma. So it's really the case, and your grass-fed meatballs have just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so um, last one, Andy, just um, what would you like to promote? Because I mean, you're a great guy, you've, you've really, you're out to help people. Um, just to, so let's, let's promote you and your business, you've got Atlantis, um, liverboards, um, what else have you got coming up and what so would the you business, like to say? The business is uh, scuba diving in the Philippines, which is what got me here and is my uh, kind of one of my other great passions is being underwater. Um, so it's AtlantisHotel.com. Um, we have two resorts, one in Puerto Valera, the other in Dumaguete and a lovely uh, yacht called Azores. Um, we do a lot of great trips on. Um, you can eat all the great food I eat um, <laughs> at any of the locations and get lots of sun and uh, lots of healthy air and walks yeah. down the beach and stuff. Um, I've also just put together a website called ways to wellness .blog, um, and that's uh, uh, just a little site to help friends and relatives kind of start the journey I have because there's so many different aspects to this with regards to mental well-being, um, sleep um, and, uh, and, and health and wellness all, all around much beyond uh, just what you eat. Yeah, I love that. I mean, and that's what, what we both have a passion for is being holistic. So yeah. gratitude. Um, and it's why we've, we've become friends because we want to talk to each other. We want to bounce ideas off each other. We want to help people. So it's that holistic help yourself, help other people. Um, and Andy's a great guy and I really appreciate you asking, answering some questions. And now <laughs> no we've got to eat. My pleasure. And last point as well is one of the last times we were here for my birthday, I think we drank three beers each. So we actually had some liquid bread. So it, like Andy said, it's not about being perfect. Um, it's about being better every day. So that's Very what we aim so. to it's, a, it's a journey and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, Andy. Thank you. Sweet.